Hi everyone, my name is Oksana and you're on my channel Plus Me More. Well, in today's video we are going to crochet a small teddy bear for your blouse. Since I'm not only a blouse customizer, but I'm also a crochet maker, I can say that I have made more than 200 um, crochet projects, most out of my patterns. So I decided to make um, such small teddy bear, which will be a perfect match to your blouse. Let's see what do we need for this project. If you want to see what is the um, scale of the teddy compared to the doll, I'm using my model Lola. So you can see that it's sweet and cozy teddy, like this. Um, it has movable feet and pose, so it also can um, sit. Yes, and um, yeah, it's nice for the photo sessions or just um, to be a friend for your doll. Well, earlier I made uh, teddy bears out of different yarn and the pattern was slightly bigger. So you can see I have, um, you won't believe me, but they're all made out of the same yarn, the same pattern. Uh, the same crochet hook, but it happens to be that uh, this Tiffany blue is much bigger than the brown teddy. Um, it, it depends on the thickness of the yarn, even if it's the same brand. So if you're curious to make your teddy out of the fluffy yarn, so I can recommend you Alize Softy. Uh, but not Alize Softy Plus, as, as it will be too thick and bulky. Um, so it's really soft and really nice, um, all the stitches are visible, it's easy to work with it. I will show you the yarn I was using for this particular teddy, so if you want it to be exactly uh, looking this way, um, I will advise using um, the label out of this yarn is here. So it's alpaca fiber, I was crocheting um, in two threads otherwise it would be too thin so i was using it as the main color alpaca fiber um this uh, yarn i found on aliexpress and uh, my second color as you will need um two colors it can be also the third one for a scarf and the uh, white yarn it's also alpaca mixture but the brand was uh, different it's called um, Angela Alpaca. Um, so I, I mixed them both. So this one also I was um, crocheting in two threads. And uh, this yarn is also available on AliExpress. Uh, well, today, um, in today's video, I'm going to use uh, my favorite yarn that I love so much and I uh, have been using it for um, more than two years or maybe almost three years. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's Alize Cotton Gold and um, I have just a very small piece of yarn art jeans um, because um, in the place where I live I cannot um, find neither nor but this one I was very lucky to find it on Aliexpress. There is one Turkish shop uh, which I um, contacted them and I bought a big bulk of yarn and I don't know, it happened to be that it's thicker than usual which is a big plus um, it's a little bit like even uh, like plush however it just a um, mixture of cotton like always um, let me see yeah, it's 55% cotton and 45% um, acrylic so I love it. And since I still want to preserve some fluffiness in my bear, I will be um, using white as I'm trying to uh, make the same small teddy or maybe even smaller. So I will go for the um, uh, small size of um, crochet hook. Um, I have chosen two millimeters. But also you need to be uh, careful because um, it depends on the brand of the um, uh, crochet hook, like 
uh, these colorful ones I don't like them at all um, I don't like working with them uh, so you can see that they're both three millimeters but it happens to be that the tips the ends are so so different this uh, three millimeters is much bigger so um also if you're choosing your uh, crochet hook um, for example this is 175 but the end here is too blunt so it would be very difficult like more challenging um, to uh, crochet into stitches rather than this one but at the same time the tip cannot be uh, too sharp as it can uh, can scratch you or pinch you so this is the optimum one I love so let's see um, let me free some space I will put them aside and uh, well you'll need some extra materials since it's a crochet um, teddy bear you'll need a filler unfortunately I don't have access to buy the uh, whole fiber filler so it just I bought it uh, I bought it in the local store for a handmade it's called toy filler I'm not sure what exactly it's made of but well it's suitable for uh, stuffing our toy or our teddy so we'll need this uh, we'll need yarn and the one that I chose today I showed you earlier it's Alize um, cotton gold it will be my main color and I can even tell you what is the number let me see yeah so the color is 152 so I have already the opened one so I'm going to use it as my main color I told you and uh, for uh, crochet so do not lose the um, uh, way of my stitches I use the um, crochet marker and uh, well to have um, such eyes um, you have choices well the one I go for um, it's the plastic ones um, I think it's um, 0 0.6 millimeters I bought it um, in such plastic box you know it had all the sizes and this is the smallest size for the Teddy's eyes we'll be inserting if you don't have um, such plastic eyes you can just um, use some black beads small beads uh, you also will need to have uh, thread a black one for um, sewing the belly button and the face nose and mouth and I have chosen uh, this very strong thick thread uh, because we are going to make our parts of teddy to be movable so um, it's actually it's up to you you can even use the same thread you are using um, while crocheting your teddy but I'll go for this one well definitely you need scissors and um, one more um, big needle all my projects um, I start with the head um, I don't know I have such a belief if the head turns out to be very cute so all the rest of the um, crochet project will be also nice and um, the same time if you experience crocheted or let's say um, if you just started you know that almost all projects they start with the magic circle of amigurumi magic circle and uh, we will also start with the magic circle so um, if you need some help uh, with the basic skills um, in crochet I'm sure you can find so many videos on YouTube or maybe um, on other social media uh, that you can uh, teach yourself and now inside we need to crochet six single crochet stitches
then we pull the end to close the circle and um, I'm going to insert the uh, crochet hook to the first stitch um, it can be challenging as it's usually very tight but with the right uh, hook at the tip of the hook will help you uh, to manipulate in such a way well I always uh, close um, the circle with a slip stitch and pull stronger to close this hole and well always check double check how many stitches you have so we must have six one two three four five six well uh, once we'll be crocheting we are going to put it here not here so this is the first one and um, I always use um, marker to know where my uh, row ends so now what we need to do we need to make um, six increases so what does it mean that in each stitch we will crochet two times so in each stitch we'll make two single crochet now you'll finish the row with 12 So we have 12. Uh, next row we are going to increase in each second stitch we are going to um, crochet 2. So it's also very standard. So 1 into 1 and then the second one we are going to crochet 2. And uh, well each row we are going to add 6 stitches. So before we had 12 and now we are going to have um, 18. okay so we have 18 this next row again we are going to increase by 6 so we're going to end up with 24 so in each now we make two stitches and in the third one we, we increase one two increase so continue till the end so you should have 24 stitches in this row and this is the next and the last row which we are going to uh, do some increasement. Uh, well it should be three times and in the fourth we are going to increase. But well, because I want to make um, it to be like more round without the angles so I'll just start with the increase okay and then we make three single crochet increase well we ended the row with 30 stitches what happens next next it will be very easy we are going to make four more rows uh, of 30 stitches so we are not going to increase anything so um, it means we just uh, do the one single uh, crochet in each stitch and this way we need to repeat um, four rows so see you uh, once you make four rows by yourself with 30 stitches at the end now once we finished these four rows without changes so next rows it will be all about decreasement we will be decreasing um, before it was like we were increasing by six stitches now we'll be decreasing by six so uh, we will make three single crochet and then we will decrease so um, you can either like uh, leave miss out one and crochet single crochet in the next one or um, you can make 
um, invisible decreasement it's called this way um, so like two halves you'll make to be one one two three and half half decrease okay so your task is to keep going till the end of the row and um yeah i can also say that next row it will be the same way we will be uh, making two single crochet stitches and decrease and next row one single crochet decrease so uh we need to end up with um one crease uh with 18 stitches no with 12 yes i'm so bad at math so um yeah your last row will be this one three decrease then two decrease one decrease you'll um you'll uh, stay with 12 stitches uh left so we ended up with such um almost a ball and um, at the end yes you need to have uh, 12 12 stitches and uh, the uh, last the last stitch after the row is over or decarded here um, I just make it to be a slip stitch so I do like this and close it but already made it so we don't need long uh, tail here so it can be short because we still just put it inside and what happens next next we are going to uh, make this part of the bear of the head I don't know how to say face nose uh, the white one and um, you can um, continue using the same yarn because well um, Alize Cotton Gold has very beautiful colors it can be uh, such white or creamy one but as I want some effect of fluffiness I will um, stick to this um, alpaca wool mixture and uh, now uh, we are going to make we are going to make well before it was a circle and we are going to make an oval so what do you need um, I'm using the same uh, crochet hook and um, you need to make a um, magic circle yourself like we did before and um, it must have six stitches and what happens next in the very first one we need to crochet um, three single crochet in one three in one then we make two one in one one in one one time one in one second time and then this will be three in one one two three and now we have two stitches left so one into one and next is one into one so now it's not a circle it's like a mini oval we need to make one more row um, so be careful do not miss any stitches so um, remember that we started by making three stitches into the first um, stitch right so now we increase all three of them so in the first stitch increase second stitch increase third stitch increase now next two just one in one one into one one into one um and now again in three next stitches we're going to increase two in one two in one two 
two in one. And one one. One stitch in one stitch. And the last one. One stitch in one stitch. And the last will be just a slip stitch to close through. Well, here we do need to have a long string. Uh, long uh, thread because we are going to use it for sewing this part um, to the head well it doesn't matter it can be just done this way it's a bit windy um, yeah and we before um, before I fill in it with the uh, uh, stuffing so I will sew this part to the head well i like making it um low not too up i feel it's cuter you can oh well, since i need to make it symmetrical and careful maybe i'll just show you the beginning and i will sew it um, and you'll sew it yourself so I usually put it you know opposite the end here and let's see it can be as low in here And all this oval I sew and uh, make it symmetrical so it will be nice. So I'll meet you once it's connected. Yes, so this is how it looks. And uh, because, well, it's very miniature and small teddy bear, that's why I'm going just to use um, regular uh, thread for. Um, embroidering the uh, nose and mouth I don't stuff it yet so we'll just insert it inside and choose where we want our nose to be and again I'll make it myself and you do it and let's meet once the nose is uh, done. So once it's done, it's time for the eyes. I'm going to insert them um, somewhere here. Let me check. Because, well, usually they are very cute when they are on um, quite big distance. Let's see. Let me try one more. And we'll see because um yeah the eyes also must be uh very much symmetrical because well, all eyes will be on the face of a teddy. Um, I'm pretty much happy with the way they are located. I'll keep them this way and I will fasten them from behind. So for this reason, you see, I wasn't stuffing the head because there are so many things that we need to do. We can stuff the head our feelers well usually I use the um, crochet hook to put everything inside can help with the finger I will stuff it well and now it will be turned for ears small small ears um, I've made one already 
It's very easy. Uh, we'll meet our main colors and um, we will be making again the um, magical circle, magic circle. But this time, instead of six stitches inside, uh, we will make um, five. So, this one we don't count. One, two, three, four, five. Some parts of ASEAN. Five. Close. Green. We also will increase right now in each stitch we will crochet two single crochet so we'll end up the uh, row with ten so now we have five one two three four five yes and we will increase in each stitch one the second one also two But we need to cut uh, maybe like this long because we are going to sew it to the head. So we need to make two ears like this. And then we are going to um, sew always the face. So I'll show you that the knot I just make from the outside. Hold strongly. And see which way is better. Insert it all, some effort in the middle. Yep. And this one already hid, see it's not visible. And this one also, we just will put it um, inside the stitches, the half of the stitches. And right inside the head pull it well so this is the way it looks as of now and we'll make it cuter by um let's say, um, by the help of the um, thread, uh, many um, crochet make makers and amigurumi makers, they use this technique, um, it goes inside. And let's make it here. I've done it also with this teddy. So we have six stitches, the standard uh, magic circle of Amigurumi. And now again, we will be increasing because we need this circle to become bigger. And as uh, it goes, uh, we are going to uh, increase in each stitch. So we'll end up with 12. 
and uh, I'll tell you about the next row. So once we have 12, again we do one stitch increment. One stitch incre increment, so we have 18. And again, one more row, we are increasing. So uh, two uh, stitches and the third one increment. So we need um, to end up with 24 stitches, 24. Um, you can watch how the hat was done, so just to remind yourself if you have difficulties. So we'll end up with two uh, stitches increment, 24. So once we have uh, 24, we are going to repeat uh, 24, three more rows without any changes. So just a single crochet in each stitch. We need to make three rows of 24. So now we have 24 and now it's time to decrease. Uh, one single crochet in one stitch, one single crochet in another stitch. And we decrease again. One, two, decrease. So we'll end up with 18 stitches. So we have 18. And now we are going to uh, keep going and repeat two rows without changes. So 18 stitches and one more row, uh, 18 stitches. And now we'll have the last row of the body. It's all about the decreasements. So we're going to decrease uh, one single crochet and we are then decreasing one single crochet decreasing so this row will end up with 12 stitches do it yourself so once we have 12 the last one it will be a slip stitch and we need um, long enough thread, it will be enough for us to sew the body to the head. So, better longer than shorter. And now you need to stuff the body well. Let's stuff it and then we are going to connect the body with the head. Now, both halves we are going to sew together. So I usually match them, you see the end and the beginning here. So here we have 12 and here we have 12. Connect it in such a way that holds well and tight. Do it till the end. We have connected both parts and now we are going to do the legs. I have one already done and here also I'm going to combine two um, different yarn. As I told you I'm going to use this um, alpaca mix, alpaca wool and uh, the principle is the same. We will um, make the um, amigurumi circle, yeah, this magic circle, and uh, with six stitches inside. Then we'll increase them in each. Okay, it will be 12. And then we'll have one more row, but let's at first um, complete our magic circle. This stitch item count, we make six. Okay, uh, till the end, then we uh, connect the circle and then we will make six increments um, in each stitch, two stitches, and we'll end up with 12. Now we have uh, 12 stitches, but in the next row we need 15. How are we going to do that? So, very easy. Uh, we will uh, do the three 
single stitches. So with no increasement, just one and one, one and one and one and one, three, right? And then in fourth, we are going to increase one more time. One, two, two, three. Increase. And finally, one, two, the in case oh here we are going to um change the yarn okay so one two and i don't complete it okay i keep it this way uh, because i'm going to add color let me see which one okay Yeah, and now, uh, well, we are going to continue and make uh, 15 stitches. Well, no, uh, without increasing or decreasing, so 15. And uh, this way, we are going to make uh, 15 um, three times, so three rows of the beige color. We need to uh, repeat them with no changes so this is the first one we need two more and we'll meet um, once we have them we have right um, you could even um, do it earlier but I will uh, do it right now so white I don't need anymore and always in all my uh, crochet projects I um, die two times like a note so for the security and we'll continue so what happens next um, here we are going to decrease three times in a row so three times we start immediately with a decrease one so all together we have 12 uh, 12 stitches and now we are going to decrease after each two at this stage uh, we can put the filler inside let's stuff it so here we have nine stitches and we are going to um, repeat nine stitches three rows okay just we will make no changes three rows of nine I also stuffed it okay and now it will be one stitch decrease and till the end we'll repeat this pattern we'll cut um, shorter, yeah, not much. Here, um, if we want, we can have the slip stitch. Let's stuff it a little bit more and then we'll close it. So all we need to do now is to uh, close this hole. I just this way and then pull pull tightly you can make also a knot and hide it hide it in the middle And now it will be time for our hands. I made one, so one, I'll show you the uh, stitch count. Okay, just can cut it. 
So the hand is very small and um, as always we'll start uh, with magic circle but with five stitches uh, inside the circle and then we'll increase them each so it will be ten. So let's make magic circle, five inside, then we'll increase each stitch so we'll end up with ten. Right, we have uh, ten stitches. We're going to repeat ten stitches uh, two rows. So no changes, okay, so we have 10 stitches and one more row, 10 stitches. Right, so we have our two rows um, with 10 uh, stitches and now we are going to uh, decrease four times. Decrease one, decrease two, Decrease, decrease four and we have two stitches so one single crochet one single crochet and uh, well because we'll have left and right hand um, here it will be just a minor change so here we started this row with um, four decreases right and then um, two stitches and the other hand you start two stitches and then four decreasement and uh, now we need to stuff uh, inside with the filler now we are going to uh, repeat six stitches two more rows okay so it's getting tight and it's windy so everything is flying um, yeah so six no changes one row and six no changes second row and then we'll close the hand so the only detail which is remaining it's a tail uh, because our teddy will have it so I'll just do it now uh, it's like this uh, what we need it's uh, five in magic circle okay then we increase each ten we repeat 10 and we need long end of the strand because we are going to sew it into the body. So we have the uh, tail done. I'll remind you 5 in magic circle and uh, then we make increasements 10 and repeat one row 10. And now we are going to uh, do the uh, almost the last stage. We need to connect the um, our legs. Um, I pinch through the body with the needle and I have the thread on the, at the end I can double check yeah it's good uh, and um, here there is a knot and we need to leave um piece of thread that long Okay, so here we are going to put the needle into the same hole, uh, but here we can take it from the different place. I'll repeat the same um, with this foot, and the same we'll do with the hands. So once we repeated this um, two times or three times. So we need to uh, pull everything tight, so the legs will not be loose, okay? And we have now two ends. We'll cut it. And we will tie a couple of knots and hide it. Okay, and the same way we'll do with the hands, identically the same way. So I'll hide it later. Um, again, you'll take your needle, somewhere you'll pinch um, here, and make it symmetrical. You'll make the hands the same way. Already connected 
the hands and the legs and I uh, already also sewed the tail and now we have to make a belly button just with the needle and the thread and the last thing will be a scarf I'm just like cross like this last but not least is um, a scarf well we can make it as long as we want but it must be something simple and it's nice when it's matching some other accessories so here I have a bag matching um, this scarf color uh, maybe in the next tutorial I'll make uh, one a bag like this and show you how to make it so um, I can just take the same brown yarn and we are going to crochet chain I told you as long as we want um, so simply crochet like this chain maybe I will make it uh, longer so I can wrap it around the neck um, at least once or maybe twice so that's it I made it to be this long can wrap it twice tie this this way and your daddy of lies is all ready bye bye don't forget to put me likes and um, wait for the next videos